The thing is, the concept of race is somewhat distant for many Japanese people. In fact, those who go to Western countries to study are often surprised that people call them Asians. You know, for the first time in their lives, they are aware of their own race. Which, and of course, on February 12th, a Japanese musician tweeted a photo of his group with blacked up faces, which I think is absolutely unacceptable. Many people say that Japanese people are and that's not completely baseless, but that's not accurate either. Konnichiwa, minasan. Kill this. Why is Japan so sometimes? That's the video I'm going to react to today. But before that, guy, just make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> hey guys, so this topic is a little bit heavy, but I can't stop caring about discrimination. So let's do this. On February 12th, a Japanese writer published a very shocking column in a conservative newspaper in Japan. She wrote, Ever since I learned of the situation in the Republic of South Africa some 20 or 30 years ago, I have been convinced that it is best for the races to live apart from each other, as was the case for white, Asians and black in that country. Did she just approve of apartheid? Fortunately, her column was heavily criticized in Japan. But I can't help asking those questions. Which part of her brain think it's okay to approve of apartheid? Why on earth did the newspaper think it was acceptable to publish her article in the first place? Well, unfortunately, this is a very good example of the fundamental lack of racial awareness in Japan. If you were educated in the West, you will have developed this kind of racial consciousness. You know, there is a voice in your head that asks you, if I say that, am I And you constantly self-monitor and correct your thoughts. Because we are all human and we can't help categorizing people sometimes. And sometimes you say, I'm not but, and go ahead and say something totally but the point is, the awareness is always there. However, in Japan, this kind of awareness doesn't quite exist. So that's why people can freely air their thoughts because they don't self-monitor and correct themselves. Sure, Japanese people learn history, you know, stuff like slavery and apartheid, but many of them fail to connect the history to their own lives. So they tend to think it's someone else's problem rather than our own problem as humanity. The thing is, the concept of race is somewhat distant for many Japanese people. 98.5% of Japan is considered ethnically Japanese and of the remaining 1.5%, the majority are Asians. So if you spend your right. entire life in Japan, which many Japanese people do, you never think of your race. In fact, those who go to Western countries to study are often surprised that people call them Asians. You know, for the first time in their lives, they are aware of their own race, which by the way is often considered a social construct, but that's another story. If you remember this YouTuber called Medama Sensei, he asked his Japanese students if they thought there was in Japan, and they said no, and they thought it only happened in the States. What happened was, Medama Sensei emphasized the word ratio, and the student immediately thought it didn't relate to Japan because they weren't used to thinking of people in terms of race. And of course, on February 12th, a Japanese musician tweeted a photo of his group with blacked up faces, which I think is absolutely unacceptable. But at the same time, their intention was not to black people, they were just completely oblivious to, to the history of racial discrimination in the States. Personally, I think they really should learn it, especially as their music is often inspired by African-American music. Many people say that Japanese people was and that's not completely baseless, but that's not accurate either, because the very same people can easily be xenophiles. So, if you are sensitive to negative stimulus, you will tend to say, oh, the Japanese people are so they are terrible. And if you are sensitive to positive stimulus, you will tend to say, wow, Japanese people are super polite and kind. But then again, 
they are just two sides of the same coin. The real problem here is many Japanese people over differentiate non Japanese people. They think people outside Japan are more different than they actually are. Mind you, the majority of Japanese people don't hate people outside Japan. They sometimes might appear to, but in the Japanese context, that is often not their intention. It's just mostly lack of awareness. However, I think Japan really needs to understand as their own problem rather than somebody else's problem because can exist, does exist, and probably will exist in Japan. Some people say, oh, that's just imposing Western values on Japan, Japan has its own way. Sure, many people can be quite Western centric, but for this particular problem, I think there's a lot we should learn from Western nations given their tremendous effort in dealing with it. And I believe that the majority of Japanese people want to live in a society where different people can live together peacefully and harmoniously. By the way, if you're planning to travel to Japan, you shouldn't be worried. The level of yeah, it's nowhere right. near the level no where way. tourists no would way. have to worry. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot in what you said. I'll, I'll try to break down my thoughts. If you're a long time watcher of this channel, you know that I, I've addressed a lot of um, issues with immigration or foreigners in Japan. I made a few videos concerning certain things. And I will say this, I think in order to understand how Japanese think, you have to understand their history. If you're separated from the rest of the world for more than, more than 250 years, all you know is Japan. You know, it's not like they're a country connected to another country. Japan is an island and they've been isolated. And to this day, I think Japan is still one of the most homogenous countries on the planet in which they haven't been infiltrated or they haven't been influenced much by other countries like some other countries are. And if all you know is people who look like you, of course, you're going to be ignorant to people of other demographics or countries because all you know is what you were raised with, which is just your own people. And it's like me going to a tribe in Africa that hasn't experienced being with Asians or white people or non-black people. They're probably gonna act the same. I don't know this person. I'm ignorant about the outside world. It's just, it just happens naturally when you just don't know. Again, I think that's a, a product of Japan's past history in which in recent years, like in the recent few decades, is when Japan started opening up to the rest of the world. So naturally, of course, Japanese are going to be a lot more ignorant when it comes to things like racial issues or things like that. However, I also think that people in the West need to also understand that not everything that Japan does that can be seen as offensive is because, like he said, they have negative intentions. Like for example, there's a, gra uh, a group called Rats and Star in which they love black musicians. So a few times they would put blackface on in the West, or people who don't know or don't come from the West, they don't know that blackface is a, a extremely done by whites to make fun of black people. But in Japan, it's they're paying homage to African Americans. So I think it's good to educate them about this stuff, especially since now the world is becoming more globalized. You know, countries are losing their sovereignty, cultures are being shared all over the internet. So it's going to be impossible for Japan to still have this isolated uh, way of thought without it causing Japan problems in the future. So I think for Japan and Jap uh, Japanese people protection, they should be more educated about race and, 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 and racial issues in other countries and such, because if they don't, it's gonna cause more issues. But I don't think Japan necessarily is, or their intentions are always foreigners i just think that they, they, they just don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section below so if you guys enjoyed the video please smash the like button smash the subscribe button also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video until arigatou gozaimasu mina kiyotsukete jane